Hmm, crops are looking good. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello? Hey, Austin. You coming in to work today? Yeah, sure, if you need me. Yeah, uh, we have that uh, dealership. We're getting going with the dealership today. Oh, really? So, yeah, uh, that's... <laughs> It's going to be a long task. Yeah, you're going to be putting a lot of hours in the dozer. But what I need you to do is I, I have a chisel plow that I'm borrowing from a friend. If you could pick that up. Uh, what truck are you bringing? Your F-450? Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you could pick that chisel plow up, bring it here. We're going to use that to kind of break up this ground a little bit so we can get the dozer in there. Pull her out to the field. I'm going to pull the 8970 just in case. Where, where's, this, to... where's this chisel plow? It's at John's place. Oh, okay. All right, I'll talk okay. to you later. Sounds good. I'll see you right. when you get here. Yep. But yeah. All right. So it looks like we got some work to go do today. I was just checking on the crops, make sure they're doing all good. So, uh, so uh, deal with the corn right now. Um, I didn't put lime on it. Now I apparently need to put lime on this. I was looking at it, and I need to put lime on it. And I know you're really not supposed to do that after it's seeded and everything's up and whatever. But since I actually legitimately need to put lime on it and farm sim will still let me um, I'm gonna put lime on it so I'll probably go head down to bucks at some point today after I'm done working here and uh, I will go grab a lime spreader from him and fill it up with some lime and just do that quick just because I, I legitimately need to to get a good crop out of this so that is why we're doing the lime spreading but we're gonna jump in the f450 here we're gonna get going down to John's place I guess to pick up this chisel plow and uh, get it to Grant's, but I'll see you guys when we get to Grant's. I think this is Grant right up here. What is he doing? He must be doing something. I think we're supposed to be down here. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll just chill out here and wait for him to get back. But uh, you guys are probably wondering what is like happening with our truck here. This is just a season's glitch, the deal with the truck. Uh, unfortunately, it's non-fixable, but... Um, it's just a little glitch there. There's nothing wrong with the truck. It's not like damaged it or anything. It's just a glitch with the truck. That's all it is. About the time he come gets here. Y'all okay, get. Okay, so after I get Hold going on, here, I, I can't really hear you. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Do you want to hook up the uh, F450 after I get going here? Yeah, sure. Sure. Oh. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. We'll. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop her down and we'll get going then. All right. And then, I'm, so I'm going to clear through here. If you want, you can, there's a dozer blade on the back of the D8 if you want to run that. But I, I figure the chisel pile will be easier. So there's there's we'll a dozer blade on the back of the D8. There's a, sorry, ripper on the back of the back of the. There D8 you go. Just, just making sure, just making sure. Oh, watch out. Oh, my oh. gosh. You almost oh. got hit by the Prius. <laughs> nice. Hey, maybe, oh, my gosh. Man, but, luckily, uh, I got, luckily, I got health insurance. Those, those Priuses will uh, get you, man. Oh, oh. yeah. Won't they? I wonder if that was, was that Jake? Was this Jake? Is that Jake down there? I don't know. That could be. Does Jake drive a Prius? I think he does. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's get going, man. Yeah. All right, let's jump in this DA here. See what we can do. All right, I think we're ripping here. We seem to be going okay. Quite uh, interesting to do some ripping here. I've never actually done any ripping before, but with the dozer at least, it's quite interesting. All right, well, we seem to be doing okay here. I'm not sure what was in this field. I think it was beans or something. All right, looks like Buck and showed up here. We got all this done, but uh, I guess we'll see what Buck wants. What do you two lovebirds think you're doing out here? Well, Buck, somebody in this town is Monopoly, and they are running prices up like crazy, man. We can't keep up with this. Somebody needs a good, honest John Deere dealership in town. So that's what I'm building, Buck. So you're gonna sit here and tell me that you're 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 building another Platte Valley deal? Not Platte Valley. C and B. No, we haven't thought of the name yet. Hmm. What is this gonna be the uh, the G A, the G A dealer? <laughs> what does G A stand for, Buck? Grant Austin. Like no, I'm not in on this. No, no, I'm just, I'm just working right He's now. He's just my helper. No, I ain't so in on good. this. <clears throat> okay then. That means well, Buck, you better give me some good prices. Hmm? Huh? Huh? This guy wants to sell something for two cents, and that's his problem when he goes bankrupt. So 
when I'm running the company the way I can and the way I should, and I'm making a profit, that's his fault for going bankrupt. Come on. What are you gonna this do, is gonna, man? This is gonna be the Tesla John Deere dealership. I'm telling you, man. Oh, it's either it we're going we're going bankrupt or, or we're making out good, man. Ten years from now. You'll see. You know, you know that hey, you know that new eight R X, man? I was talking to Deer about that already. We got that coming, Buck. 8RX. 8RX. Don't we got the the new Did, spider, you're not spider you coming? Yet? He doesn't know about right. the new 8RX yet. What about the new sprayer? Yeah, we got that coming too. I don't think Deer is, tell, is telling him. Oof. The heck is it? Okay. Well. Wait, Buck. They supply me with what they need. Good for me to sell. Do so you talk to your corporate Tesla, much? Like I said, I haven't been. I'm not the manager at that building yet. Well, actually, oh, correct that. Right. Wait, Buck. How about if I hire you over on my John Deere dealer? You can be full manager. I like where I'm working right now. Buck, Boss hey. is going to quit, and then the second he quits, I get the manager spot, and then right after that, I fire Tony. How him. much do they, Buck? How much do they pay though? Oh, I'm making a solid fifteen bucks an hour plus every bonus I make off of every equipment piece I sell. Buck, I'll give you a solid salary of hundred and fifty k to run my John Deere dealer. I'm not gonna no, no deal. What? I'm making honest living up there at uh, Black Valley. I'm happy He's loyal. You gotta give him that. He is loyal. I like it. That makes me want you more. Well, that sucks because you ain't gonna get me. It's gonna be a rivalry, bud. You want to get, <clears throat> you want to get business? You're gonna have to fight for it. Flat Valley's a strong company. We got places all over. We got places in Nebraska. We got places in, uh, I, I got, I forgot, we got a few places. What's down Nebraska? In oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's the greatest state known to man. We sit right in the middle of the country. Except for the town that's right in the middle of America is in Kansas, which is really sad. Really? Okay. Yes. And apparently they have a giant ball of yarn somewhere in Kansas. Hmm. Okay. It's a re world record, I don't know. But the great state, guess what? You want to beat me? Come at me. Because yeah, I ain't leaving. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, with those prices, you ain't going to be selling anything, man. Oh, oh really? So yeah. What are you gonna What are you gonna sell everything for eighteen thousand dollars? Like I just sold you that bobcat that should have got me fired. Oh wait, it did. We got jobs open over here at our dealer. Uh, go. No, I got fired from the, the company service. that we're. I got you. Yeah, I got fired from them. No one would budge. Well, yeah, I think we can do it, man. I think we can do good over here. I think we can. Well, I think you can too, and I wish you the best of luck, but I don't think you're going to take us out of business. We got a lot of loyals. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you do go out of business, though, we do have a demolition company, me and Austin run. Feel free Wait, to give us oh, a call. You ain't touching that mean? building, sweet sun, sunshine. Feel free to give us a call, Buck, man. You got my number. Uh, Buck, I have no clue about this demolition company. That's nice, because guess what? I ain't going to be using it very much. You want to get a good deal, you know where to find me. Did he get a haircut? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I'm bald now, boys. Dude's one crazy mother trucker. Agreed. We got to beat him. I feel like he's going to get smoked by that Prius. Yeah. She's well, gonna get him. Oh boy. All right. Well, we um, um, we we better we Tensions better get to work. Our storing, man. We got to put some money on this. We got to beat him. Yeah. I'm. I love Buck to death, man. He's my best friend. But we are gonna sell more tractors than Buck. This is it. Hmm. You know who'd be great? He'd be a great salesperson. He would. He would. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know, he'd be know why great. He doesn't come. No, I offered no, no. him 150 grand a year. Okay, you know who would be a great salesperson, though? Who? 
You know your old buddy Chow from Ravenport? Chow. Chow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe I'll sell some chickens. <laughs> if he could sell chickens as well as he could sell tractors, we'd be golden. We'd be golden. Or the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, the other way around. If you could sell well, right tractors, now, our John Deere dealer yeah. is dirt. And we got to get moving. We got to keep working on it. Well, so. you're, you're the only one holding us back right now. Come on, let's go. Let's, okay. let's go. Let's go. Let's get, get it. going on her. I. Well, uh, Grant's going to be a bit here. He's just making some calls, getting some stuff done. So we're going to head over to Bucks and get a, a lime spreader so we can uh, spread some lime on our uh, field there of corn. But I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we're just pulling up to the dealership here. And I got to find old Buckaroo here. Find out where he is. Should be around here somewhere. Buck, how's it going? Hey, Austin. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. All what right. you up to? Uh, I was just um, getting the old death organized on the shelves again. Gotcha. Kind of got gotcha. a little bumped around. Yeah. Uh, so what can I do for you today? I am in need of a lime spreader. Well, you're kind of in luck, but not in luck. Because we have one, but it's not cheap. I just need one to rent. That I can just hook you up with. All right. So the uh, Wait, which one you got? Which one you got? That is what I'm gonna have you follow me out here for. All right, we all have, right. Um, I believe it's a we have the new leader, uh, spreader on the back of our. Um, what? I can't remember the number on this thing. Uh, it's on the back of our of our deer body for the what can hold the sprayer as well. Our our forty forty five. Jesus, I can't even speak. Okay, yeah. yeah this looks yeah, like. This looks perfect. So let's get you back on. So let's get you back out here so you can get get going, and I'm not wasting your time trying yeah, to get an extra yeah. 120 bucks out of you. So All right. Again, here this is actually a fairly short one, just because you're renting it. Yeah. Uh, on the first page, it is a um, name and date. Okay. To clear for your name being taken this off the property. Uh, second page, just initial. Uh, that's for uh, you hit anything with this you're liable for it because that's on you yep but you don't have the sprayer boom so it's going to be a little bit easier not to hit anything mm -hmm. and the tires maybe and uh none of that else is for you because the rest of that applies to the sprayers so let me just get the human sounding copy machine get your copies beep 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 bong ching bang okay that's an interesting sounding copy machine that's what I'm saying. It's the human sounding co copy machine. So hmm. here is your copies of those okay. two papers. All right. Most likely you'll probably don't need them within an hour, but uh, those are your copies. Um, the keys are at my front desk, and you should be good to go. All righty. Just grab that down here. And there you go. All right. I will be back within an hour. All right. You do that. I'll be clocking you. you better oh, be you back try. By you, I'll, you better I'll, be back by 12.34. Otherwise, it's 120 bucks. Yep. All right, let's see if we can get this thing back before an hour. That way Buck doesn't charge us the full amount. That's going to suck if he does. Let's get ripping here. Let's play some Batman theme music. No, just kidding. Copyright. Never, unfortunately. But we better get going with this, cause I want to get this done. I want to want to get. I want to want to pay the full hour fee. So, let's get ripping with this. All right, we're just gonna quick stop in at the co-op here and pick up some lime. Now Jake is gone today, but he said I could go pick up some lime, so that's what we're gonna do. And he's already got his lime spreader right there. I should have just borrowed his. I didn't really think about that at the time. All right, we're just pulling back into the yard here, so we're gonna see if we can get this done in time. I really hope we can. Because if not, uh, it's really going to suck for me, at least. Oh, boy. I hate to go across this corn like this, but it's got to be done. So let's get to it. Now, I'm not very worried about how long this is going to take because it literally is going to take me two seconds with this because of how wide it is and uh, how fast we're going here. Like, we're pretty much done. We've only took, like, three passes. So it's really crazily fast. We're actually just going to take it right through the gate with the thing on it doesn't even really matter because we're going so fast like i wish we had a cedar this big and it went that fast because this actually took us a good amount of time last time we did this we're receding 
Well, we got the last little bit here and we're finished. I think we're going to get the this here uh, back in time. But if you guys are enjoying the series, smash that like button. It really helps out the video. And yeah, so we're, we just finished this and we're going to go take this back to the dealership. Hopefully we get there in time. Because if not, Buck's going to charge me extra money. Well, we got her back in half an hour. I didn't think it was possible, but we did. So I guess Buck's just mowing right now. I was pulling up here and it looked like it, so... I don't know where he wants me to pull this thing. I'll kind of just pull it out of the way for him. That uh, way he doesn't have to worry about it when he's mowing here. And then I'll go uh, talk to him here. Buckaroo! Well, well, well. If he ain't back by 12.02, half an hour. Yeah, I, I sped. I, I was tell. speeding. And how do you speed in a square? I don't know, It's it, but it's possible. Okay, apparently, clearly. Well, deal's a deal. 80 bucks is the charge. And Alrighty. Ooh, you did even wash it up. I didn't, I didn't actually wash it up. Oh, you didn't? Oh, no, all the mud just flew off. Huh. Must have been just on the tires. Well, yeah. It's been kind of dry out the past few days. It hasn't really rained a whole bunch. Yeah, I know it hasn't. Actually, I should probably turn off the lights. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Well, there you go. You're good now. I think you see a lot out here mowing right now, so... Yeah, you sound a little tired, too. I am. Um, it's been a long morning. Same. Same. I see... This looks place looks way different. Yeah, it's, um... Well, the lot's kind of been expanded, slash everything's moved back so I can get to the grass. Yeah. Uh, may may I ask? Yeah. May I ask? What in the heck is going on here uh this was just because i had, had to move it and i got lazy i didn't want to grab one of the six m's over there so i just grabbed this because it was two feet from it and you hooked up the pto and the hydraulics too well it was either that or it lays on the ground and drags and i don't want that you, you got a point you got a point if you, if you were doing it that way you should have just hooked it up to the 9rx i mean hey it's possible. <laughs> All I right. Said we can't. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, uh, I got to get out of here. I got lots of stuff to do today. So. Same here, but I got stuck at this place called work. Oh, yeah. 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 You should spend more time on your farm instead of work. Sheesh. I know. Well, good news is that I got everything planted. Uh, I literally have everything done ready to go for fall. It's all Sheesh. been planted fertilized i got really good i got way ahead this spring yeah yeah well uh i'm gonna get out of here and uh right i'll let you get back that 80, right oh yeah that yeah that's bucks. that's right that's right well i can't transfer you 80 bucks uh my bank account only lets me transfer 100 but there you go well that's your tax all right we'll work with that all right well, you you, you, you owe me a lunch you. how about that huh you owe me yep. a lunch We'll have we'll have lunch sometime at the Texas Barbecue in Burksville. Are you? Yeah, good? yeah. Want me good juicy steak? Oh good. So you get back to work. Yes, I'm gonna get back to work. work. I'll see you All later. Right. All right, see you, bud. All right. Well, that job's out of the way. I don't know what else Grant has planned for today. I guess I'll have to see here. But we're going to head back to the farm. I will see you guys when we get back there. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like. It really helps out the video. And if you're new or you haven't been subscribed yet, please do consider dropping us a sub. But I will see you all in the next one.